Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we will understand how to run Hausman test in eViews. In my previous video, I have already discussed the fixed effects model and the random effects model. But we want a decision criteria to use which model in which situation. So the answer is the Hausman test. The Hausman test is sometimes described as a test for a model misspecification. In panel data analysis, the Hausman test can help you to choose between fixed effects model or a random effects model. You can see the flowchart here. So to run the fixed effects model or random effects model solely depends on the Hausman test. Well, my null hypothesis is random effect is appropriate and the alternative is fixed effect is appropriate. Now how to run this test in eViews? Let's see. I would request all my viewers to kindly refer my previous video to understand the flow of this entire series. So I'll go in quick estimate equation y c x2 x3. So y is my dependent variable, x2, x3 are the independent variables. Make sure to activate the panel option and activate the random effects. Your Hausman test will get activated only if you have if you have activated the random effects here click ok and you got the random effect model now to run the Hausman test you will have to go in view fix random effect testing and correlated random effects Hausman test click on it you will have to see the p-value of this so first of all let us take this output in the word file Now, how to write the interpretation? The p value is given. First of all, we'll write null. The null is random effect is appropriate. Alternative is fixed effect is appropriate as the p value is more than 0 0.05. We fail to reject null hypothesis, which means that random effects are more appropriate in our study. Okay, I'll again go back in eViews and now I will interpret the middle portion. Here, you will have to see this var difference. It's a difference between the variable x2 and x3. Okay. So, the middle portion of the output shows the comparison of fixed effects and random effects coefficient of each regression. This shows the variance difference, shows the difference between two estimates. Now, we will write down the p value shows that there are that. that the coefficients that the coefficients are statistically are statistically insignificant just statistically insignificant as the p-value of x2 and x3 are is more than 0 0.05. You can see here. 
So there is no difference in the value of fixed effects and random effects coefficients because the p-value is more than 0 0.05. So both the methods are giving you equal results. Now when to use fixed effects and random effects model also depends upon your panel. If t, that is number of time series data is large and n, number of cross section unit is small, there is likely to be a little difference in the values of parameter estimated by fixed effects and random effects model. In this situation, though the choice is based on computational convenience, fixed effects model may be preferable. When n is greater than t, the estimated obtained by two methods can differ significantly. That is, when number of cross section units are large and time series, the, the, the coefficients which you get by two methods can differ. If we strongly believe that the cross section units in our sample are not random drawing from a larger sample, fixed effects method is appropriate. However, if the cross section units in the sample are regarded as random drawing, then random effect is appropriate. If the individual error component epsilon i and one or more regressions are correlated, then error correction model estimators are biased, whereas those obtained from fixed effects models are unbiased. If n is greater than t, and if the assumptions underlying ECM hold good, so ECM estimators are more efficient than FEM estimators. For more videos on panel data regression, kindly refer to my playlist. I have already uploaded many videos which are related to the panel data regression. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the like button. You can refer my playlist. You can also follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter.